Hello, my name is Drew Coleman, and this is my informative speech for my oral communication class. Has there ever been a time where you wish you had a single word that you could use to describe a situation instead of having to use a whole sentence or two to get your listener to understand what you're talking about? <clears throat> for example, has there ever been a time where you're driving in your car one morning and this the song came across this radio or a commercial that just had the snappy the snappy tune to it and hours later you found yourself still humming and singing this tune that you had stuck in your head from the car ride earlier have you ever tried to explain the situation to somebody before like oh i just you know i just have the song stuck in my head from early no it you can't wouldn't it be nice if you could just have one word to that you could say and another person would immediately understand exactly what you were going for or what you were what, what you're going through well in the german language they do have a word for this it is called um, it is called orum um which is uh, an english translation for the word ear or uh, the english translation translation for that would be earworm and what that word is used to describe in the German language is um, you just have that snappy tune stuck in your head. And uh, so if you were to ever say that word in German <clears throat> uh, to a German speaking person, they would understand what you were talking about. Today, I'm going to go over a little history of the German language. Even though I do not speak German, I am from a German descent, and I do have, I have done a lot of research into this topic, and more specifically, why a lot of these words um, in German exist. <clears throat> so to start off with, um, the German language is one of the oldest language, languages in, er, in Europe, dating back to the 6th century. It gets its roots from an old Saxon language, and uh, the Saxons were a group of uh, Germanic tribes living in Europe in the earlier earlier centuries. It wasn't until the 18th century, um, or the I'm sorry, not the 18th century, the 1800s, that the German language um, became accepted as a, as today as one of the world's written form of languages. Over the next 100 years, the German language would flourish not only across Europe, but over the world, <clears throat> becoming one of the world's most spoken languages. And it is also the official language of seven different countries. German, uh, German is the third most taught language in the United States after Spanish and French. <clears throat> and German speaking countries are among the fifth in the world at producing books. And every fifth ebook that's made uh, there, or I'm sorry, every tenth ebook is made. Um, one of those ebooks are made with a with a German dialect. <clears throat> the language itself has gone through many changes over the centuries, in how it is written and in the dialect. The latest changes were made in 1996 when official German speakers tried to enact a reform to make the language easier to learn and just more simpler overall. And uh, let's let's give an example of a few more words here. Have you ever gotten into an argument with someone, and the next day, let's say you're in the shower, you thought of something that was going to be really good to say in the moment, like you can just wish you could go back to it and just, oh, I wish I would have said that. Well, in German, this is uh, Treppenwitz. When you know, sometime after you thought of something really good to say, the English translation of this word is staircase joke. Uh, let's give some other examples here. Some of my audience members might be experiencing this right now. Have you ever felt embarrassed or ashamed for somebody else? If you think I'm doing a good job with the speech, you probably don't feel that way. But if you think I'm doing a bad job, a cringeworthy job, then you might be feeling a little bit... Um, from the shaman. <laughs> uh, which, um, which is the feeling of being ashamed... For somebody else or embarrassed maybe you're looking at me right now and uh, you're not listening to what I'm saying because you're feeling a bit <laughs> back in f uh, back back fey fen 
just <laughs> which is I have a punchable face. <laughs> So you might be asking yourself, why do a lot of these words exist in the German language? Well, a lot of it has to do with changes over the language uh, throughout the centuries. Uh, a few words might have been um, used in one form of the dialect, and, um, and when the dialect changed, those words graduated and moved on with the dialect, and that happened so many times over the years that a lot of these words have just been adopted into the German language. Um, <clears throat> but what it really comes down to at the end of the day, uh, with how a lot of these words exist, is it's a, it's a combination of laziness and genius. <clears throat> Most of these words in the German language are uh, just two words put together or several words put together um, hashed out to make a single word. Um, so, so these words become so commonly used by the people, for example, um, you know, ohm word, or um, the orm word, um, becomes so commonly used by the people that it just becomes adopted into the language itself. Um, you know, who, who doesn't want, you know, to make their lives a little bit easier? Uh, for example, I will give you one in English. Um, it's a word that's been gaining a lot of popularity lately. Uh, hangry. Can you guess what that's supposed to mean? It is a mix between the words angry and the words hungry. And can you guess what those words put together would mean? It is a combination of being hungry, or it is a combination of being angry because you are hungry. You can ask my girlfriend, I experienced that quite a bit. <clears throat> Well, I hope I have done a good job of giving you some insight into the German language and a little bit of its history. I have given you some examples of the German words that, in my opinion, make life a little bit easier. Like the word hangry, maybe we can make some of these words ourselves and adopt them into our own English, in English language. I hope I have answered any questions that you might have, and thank you for your attention, and thank you for listening.